off by saying that the young man who spoke a little while ago was one of my students. And that made me so proud because I know that our people have strong leaders for years and years to come. As a militante of Unión del Barrio, a revolutionary Mexican organization here, we understand what the camarada is saying. You're right, this is not just about Mexico. This is about a global struggle against imperialism and capitalism. Yes. But we know that all of that is happening in the context that where we now stand is stolen, occupied Mexico. Yeah. That's why that we bring is we want to bring a little bit of more of a, a revolutionary context to this. Why is it that these people, these frail, racist, white people, want to keep us out of this country? It's not because simply the color of our skin. It's not simply because they just want to exploit us. Let me tell you why. Because on this planet right now, a six billion people at the forefront of the revolutionary movement is the Raza. When you go to Venezuela, an example of our Comandante Fidel Castro Ruz. We got Hugo Chavez, Evo Morales, we got Brazil, Ecuador, you name it. We have nine, nine left of center governments in Latin America right now. And they know something that a one young Argentine called Che Guevara said, it was called the domino theory. And he knew that every single country would go revolutionary, one after the other, after the other, after the other. So what do they fear? They know that every single country, they know that we no longer will fall to these lies called borders. We know that a Salvadoran and a Guatemalan and a Nicaraguense and a Mexicano, there's no damn difference. We are all one people. So with that in mind, we see ourselves, all of us here, as the northern front of a Latin American revolutionary movement. of our people north of the, of the Rio Grande. That means to them, there's 40 million potential revolutionaries north of the border, inside the belly of the beast. So when you think about why do they want to kick us, of all people, out, that's why. Because they know that we now know the truth. They know that now we are raza, we're professionals, we're educators, we are revolutionary students. What does that mean? We are not just a regular culture anymore. We are a culture of revolutionary spirit. And that's the fear. So with that being said, I want to leave you with this. As a revolutionary and with revolutionary context, let's be clear about one thing. Our enemy is not the Minutemen. Quote me. Our enemy is not the Minutemen because the Minutemen are not the ones who have killed over 4,600 people at those borders. That our enemy is the same enemy as Hugo Chavez, that Hugo Chavez has. Our enemy is the same enemy that keeps Africa poor. Our enemy is the same enemy that keeps Asia poor. Our enemy is capitalism and imperialism, okay? That's about making change, if you are serious about making change, let me tell you, the struggle will go on for many more years after we leave UCLA. Reading a book or writing a book or teaching a class, that is not, that is not part of the movement. What you do 24 hours a day as a professional revolutionary, that is what is going to lead our people and all people to liberation. There you are, the Rasa. Yeah.